Today, I'm going to talk about the first steps when buying a home in Miami. Miami is an incredible city to live in, but there is a lot of different real estate throughout our city and a lot of different price points and a lot of different expenses that come with owning a home in Miami, even a condominium. There is just a lot to know about buying real estate in Miami. So today, I'm going to talk about the first steps that you should take if you're thinking about buying a home in Miami and I'm going to get started now. Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Pretzi. I'm a real estate agent in Miami. I work with my husband Ogden Pretzi and our team. Today I'm going to talk about some of the first steps that you really need to think about if you're thinking about buying a home in Miami. There's just a lot to know and a lot of times people just want to come here and start looking at real estate, but they're really not prepared about what it takes to buy in our local real estate market. So I always like to create plans and to help our buyers make a really good plan so that we are super laser focused when they get into town and also so we spend time looking at properties that they can afford, at budgets that they really want to set, and to help set the proper expectations about what it may take to own that property year after year. I don't like surprises, so I think it's really important that we best prepare our buyers when they are thinking about buying real estate here. But first, before I get started, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button so you never miss another update. We do put out new videos every week. Also, use the link in our information box and download our free relocation guide. That guide page is really long. It's about 42 pages long, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Also, in the information box, you can find all of our contact information, and there's also a Calendly link if you would like to schedule a free buyer or seller consultation. Click on that link and schedule a consultation with us. Okay, let's get started. From our experience, the most important thing that we can do is create a plan for our buyers before they get into town. Or if you're even a local buyer, we like to do a buyer consultation so that we can help you plan. So the first step that we like to do is a buyer consultation. This allows us to really go over all of your expectations, what you want to buy. Do you wanna buy a condo, a townhome, a single family home? Is it a primary residence, an investment property, or just a second home? Do you need financing? How much are you putting down? How much are closing costs? A lot of times people forget about closing costs. Closing costs here, if you're paying cash, can be about one to 2%. If you're getting financing, it can be three to 5%. So why is there such a gap with those percentages? We talk about that at a buyer consultation. Also, if you're buying a condominium, how much do you want to pay for monthly maintenance? Do you know how much the taxes will be year to year? Do you know that the taxes will change after you purchase the property? Because of what the current owner is paying is probably not what you're going to be paying the next year after you own the property. Will you homestead the property or not? I mean, there's just really a lot to know. And we go over all of that at a buyer consultation. I have found over the years, especially in my earlier years of real estate, which was a long time ago, but <laughs> years ago, I would get so excited when buyers called and we would just take them out and start showing properties. And I learned very quickly, this was a really bad mistake because quite frankly, we were probably showing the wrong properties because we were just showing properties based on what they told us they wanted. But we didn't really go through the process of explaining to them what to expect in advance and then actually build a property search around that so that when they came to look at properties in person, we spent time looking at the right properties. For example, I remember a long time ago, someone told us they wanted to buy in Brickell and they wanted to buy in a high rise on the 52nd floor. Well, we were really new agents, very young, and we just didn't realize that this one particular view was really important. So after we got into showing a few properties, they were like, why are we not seeing any properties with this view? 
And we realized that, you know, that was because we probably should have done a more detailed buyer consultation. Sometimes people will say, you know, I want to buy a condo on Miami Beach, but I don't want to spend, you know, several thousand dollars a month for maintenance. I just want a place where I can walk in, come inside. I don't care about the pool and the maintenance and the security. I just want to walk into a place, you know, put my head down at night and enjoy the beach during the day. So it's very important for us to really uncover all of this information at a buyer consultation. And that's why we really take the time to do this in advance so we don't waste your time and we can help you set a budget for the type of property that you want to buy. There are also other details like cars. Do you want to purchase in a building where they have assigned parking? Is valet okay? Do you have a pet? How big is a pet? You know, a lot of buildings here, they don't allow owners to have certain size pet or more than one pet. So we have to really work through a lot of these details. So again, we don't waste your time. So number one, a buyer consultation is very, very important. Also, we'll need to talk about how you're planning to pay for the property. Are you paying cash or do you need financing? If you're paying cash, it's fairly straightforward. If you need to get financing, it is really important to speak to a lender. I highly recommend to speak with a lender who's very experienced in our area and especially a lender who's experienced in our area if you're getting financing for a condominium purchase. Condominium purchases in our area have a lot of little details that are super important to really address in advance so you know. For example, we need to know what type of product that you're getting because we need to know is it a primary, a second home or an investment property because typically lenders require different things from the buildings and qualifications from the buildings based on those types of purchases. We can go over that at a buyer consultation, but just know that. Also, we really want you to know how much money you'll need to put down on this purchase. People are sometimes surprised to hear that condominium purchases in our area usually start at around 20% down, sometimes 25% down for primary residence purchases and more for second homes and investment properties. Also investment properties, the buildings have to be really, really well qualified. This is a lot of information that I'm saying right now, but this is why these buyer consultations are so important. And it's also really important why we connect you with a lender who can help guide us and help guide you so that we can spend time looking at the right properties and so you know what to expect in advance. Another thing that lenders do that I think is really important is they really can give you an estimate of how much it may cost to own that property every single month. For example, if you're buying a single family home, we really need to factor in taxes and insurance because insurance can be pretty expensive here. And so you really need to understand, do you really want to purchase a property at that price point? Although you're qualified here, maybe you want to buy here because the insurance is a little bit less or obviously because the mortgage is a little bit less. So these are the reasons why we like to have all these discussions in advance. The next thing that we'll do after we know how much you want to spend and we do the buyer consultation and we understand what you want to buy is we will really start breaking down these neighborhoods with the market data. Ogden loves to put together market trend data for our clients. If you are a numbers person, you will love it too. If you're not, that's okay too, but we'll help you understand what a home is worth in today's market so that you can make really good offers and understand the pricing for today. It can be a little bit confusing because our data is really grouped sometimes all together. For instance, a lot of numbers that you'll see online, they'll group condos and houses together. But quite frankly, Miami Beach single family homes and, you know, uh, Doral single family homes are completely two different markets. And that's why it's really important that you work with an expert who can really break down these hyper local niches and hyper local neighborhoods so that you make sure that you're getting a good deal and you feel good about that purchase. So that's the next thing that we'll do is when you know what you want to buy and you know the budget that you want to spend at, then we can start breaking down the neighborhoods and give you some pricing based on any interesting properties that you find. The next thing that we'll do is we will really start talking about the offer offer process and how much you want to put down for an earnest money deposit and sort of the whole as is contract. I'll give you a copy of that so you can look over that. 
in florida you do not have to have a real yeah. estate attorney to do a closing however a lot of our clients yeah. like to use a title company that has a real estate attorney that's another discussion that we can have at the buyer consultation but we'll start walking through the steps of the offer process and what to expect it's probably very different than where you're from a lot of times people get a little bit annoyed because the offer process can take a little bit of time here. Sometimes we get answers very quickly, but a lot of sellers here, they like to take their time in answering back these offers, even when we put deadlines on them. And sometimes it can take a week or two to negotiate these offers. And sometimes the sellers are out of the country that might be on vacation. And a lot of these properties are second and third homes for people. So it may not always be top priority, even though the property's on the market for sale. This is just an expectation that we have to set for our buyers so that you know what to expect and just have a little bit of patience during the offer process. A lot of patience here goes a long way. <laughs> we'll also talk about the vendor process. We'll also go over some of the vendors that you may want to consider. For example, you'll probably want to hire a title and attorney. You'll also want to make connections with local inspectors, or if you were buying a property that has a septic tank, you'll want to look into septic tank companies to do the septic inspection, or maybe you want to have uh, the AC looked at, so maybe some other AC vendors. We have a very good vendor list. If you would like to have that list, I'm happy to provide it for you. But that's another thing that you definitely want to think about is all the vendors that you may need to hire to actually purchase that property and the cost of those vendors because the cost varies from vendor to vendor. If you're buying a single family home, just depending on the type of property you're buying, there can be very small inspections from a couple hundred dollars all the way up to very long and detailed inspections into the several thousands of dollars. You know, sometimes you just have a very simple condominium and just takes a couple hundred dollars to do that inspection. It can be, you know, done in a couple of hours, or maybe you have a very large single family home that has a lot of systems on site and there are a lot of things that need to be inspected, maybe a pool, a seawall, a septic tank and some other things so definitely definitely make sure that you take the time to look over a vendor list and understand the vendors that you may need to hire to come out to the property to actually purchase that real estate and last but not least we'll also talk about the closing day and what to expect and how long it may take to close Cash closings can happen a little bit faster. If you're buying in a condominium, you'll also have to apply to the condo association. If you're buying a single family home in an HOA community, you'll have to do the application process with the HOA association. So there are a lot of little steps that have to happen during that time frame, And it's just important to know what area you're buying in, how long it may take to get the approval in these associations, and then how long it'll take your lender to approve you and title and all of that. We'll go over all of those processes at a buyer consultation and help you understand all of the first steps to buying a home in Miami. There is a lot to know about buying real estate in our area. I highly recommend that you take these first initial steps, do the buyer consultation and let us go over the process with you so that we can help best guide you to make a smooth move to our city. If you come here or you just call us and you're popping in over the weekend, you're probably not going to have the best experience. Even if we don't take you out to see properties, if someone else does, you're just probably going to be looking at the wrong real estate, quite frankly, because if you have not done a lot of these initial steps, you probably have no idea how much insurance costs or how much the HOA fees cost or how much the association fees cost and kind of what to expect. So take time to do these initial steps so that you can have a really smooth and successful transaction and then make Miami your next home. My name's Jamie Pretzi. This is my husband, Ogden Pretzi. Don't forget to download our relocation guide. Feel free to reach out to us for a free buyer or seller consultation. We are always here to be a resource for you and we will see you soon.